Anne Connolly's reporting was critical in triggering the Royal Commission into the aged care sector and she has continued to expose the industry to unwanted scrutiny. In a series of reports across TV, radio and online, Connolly has revealed further cases of nursing home residents being sexually assaulted, chemically and physically restrained and generally neglected in a shameful way. Over the next 10 days, Margaret had seven falls. Because I think she had become a little bit aggressive, um, she was given drugs. And because of the drugs, she lost her balance and she got a bruising of her black eye and um, broken pelvis. In fact, terrible conditions really there. When I finally got the call that she'd been admitted to uh, Frankston Hospital, um, and I went to uh, see her, um, I just, it was just utterly unbelievable because she just looked like, um, you know, skin and bones. And they said, oh no, look, you know, she'll be okay, you can go home. So I travelled the two and a half hours uh, back home again, um, only to get a, uh, a phone call the next morning that she died. <laughs> and I wasn't there. I wasn't, I wasn't there and she, and she wasn't, she was by herself. Such is her reputation and credibility, Connolly has been deluged with emails and letters from families of aged care residents wanting her to tell their stories of mistreatments. Anne Connolly has stayed with the story when many others have moved on. She has become the leading reporter in an area that will become increasingly important to Australian life. Her tenacity and fearlessness are in the true Graham Perkin tradition.